Hi Leute, ich bin Till von Tennis Point und Patrice hat ausnahmsweise mir mal das Zepter übergeben. Äh, der ist schon wieder zurück in Essen oder sonst wo auf der Welt unterwegs. Wir sind bei unserem Adidas Cybersonic Camp Tag 2 angelangt und äh, befinden uns jetzt hier auf der wunderschönen Anlage der Tennis Base in Oberhaching und haben viele Tennisspieler, Tennisspielerinnen und Content Creator mitgebracht, um den brandneuen Adidas Cybersonic für euch zu testen. Nehmen euch dann natürlich mit, um euch zu erzählen, was der neue Schuh alles kann. Deswegen äh, viel Spaß beim Video. I'm Ashley, I run the Tennis Mentor YouTube and Instagram accounts and I'm here today with Tennis Point and Adidas at the beautiful tennis base in Germany. My name is Anastasia Kuparev, I'm a tennis player from Germany and I also compete international level and you can follow me on Instagram here. Hi, my name is Thomas. I'm the owner of Tennis Reporter and we are here in Germany with Adidas and Tennis Point to test the new Cybersonic to be continued. Hello, my name is René, I'm from Belgium. I'm a tennis player and I'm playing tennis from my whole life. Hi everybody, uh, my name is Alex Moss. I'm working at the Adidas um, Herzl campus, working in the product side for more of the product development and here at the tennis space in Oberhaching with Tennis Point to test out the new Cybersonic on the clay. A chance to like, play out in the, the new Cybersonics for Clay. First thoughts? So I've actually got these back at home in that version. I've got the, the hardcore version. So I've, I've really put them through their paces. Um, but nice to have a go with the clay court edition with the, with the different soles. Um, for me, when I first put them on, they feel really stable, really solid and actually comfortable considering I've got quite wide feet. Um, I normally wear the barricades, which tend to be a little bit wider. These are super comfortable as well. Lovely. How about the, um, the baseline play? Like, so forehands and backhands, lateral movements, you say quite solid feel, yep. but how's the support? How's the stability? So I, um, I'm not much of a slider. You can see these are pretty, pretty good. <laughs> pretty fresh. They're, they're not looking that red. You'll see some of the other guys that were sliding around. Um, but moving laterally, generally, shoes that are made for lateral movement have a little bit more of a wide um, outsole here. This, this is more narrow. Um, but I was really surprised at how solid this section felt. Um, you know, when I'm pushing off on my outside leg there, I didn't feel any give in that direction. Um, so for me, somebody who doesn't slide so much, I was really able to push off and, and change direction. So yeah, although looks may deceive you, it's not that wide here, it still gives you that lateral stability. I really like the new Cybersonic from uh, Adidas. The profile of the shoes, you can move wherever you want. We have a lot of speed with, uh, with this Cybersonic and uh, the weight is uh, really, really low. Uh, so it's a uh, really good shoes and uh, I appreciate the experience of this morning. I really like the shoes from Cybersonic. They are pretty light and stable, even though this is a speed shoe. So I would recommend these to all the players who are switching now to clay courts. Like, um, and always a toss up with tennis shoes is always like that, that clash between comfort and like stability. How was the comfort for these? You say it's quite a solid shoe, but how you feel like? Um... Yeah, I mean, as you can see, the uppers are, are made of this fabric, so it's not, um, super tough so there is a little bit of give there but in the key areas where you need that st support and stability around here it's a much firmer feel um, they're not a pair of shoes that i'm going to be wearing for hours and hours coaching um, they're a high performance shoe so they're going to be great for playing competitively you know or um, you know if i want to do a bit of an intense workout on the court mm -hmm. these are definitely the shoe for that Nice, nice. And we talked about like sort of the baseline, lateral movements. How about those drop shots? How about uh, stopping? How is the comfort or stability in that sense? Yeah, I, I mean, as I said, I'm not a big slider, but stopping was easy and comfortable. Sometimes when you plant your foot in that in that movement, in that linear direction, your feet can shoot to the bottom of the shoe. Um, but I felt like I was really in, encased and gripped into the shoe. Um, not much movement. Maybe I've got the perfect size for me. Um, but yeah, it was it was great in that direction too. Uh, the, uh, 
or lockdown around that midfoot area around the tongue just so you don't slide forward inside? Definitely. Yeah, pretty consistent all the way through. I know some shoes, you know, can feel tight in places and loose in places, but this is this is nice and consistent. Last thing I want to ask, um, big technology point for the Cybersonic is that energy rods. You can see it go around the heel and the best benefit for this is that propulsion, you know, like when you got to be fast and get to those drop shots or even when you're serving or having to go for those lobs, you need to jump up. How's the propulsion? Do you feel a difference? Do you feel faster? Uh, for sure. I, I mentioned it in my review that I did of those ones, actually, that it's almost you get a feeling of snapback. So when you push into the ground, it feels like you get a little bit more than you would without the rod in, in other shoes. Um, so for sure, I think it makes a difference. And, um, you know, even from my first time playing with them, you could, you could feel that sensation. Lovely. Okay. Then I guess uh, for the open season now, with clay, we'll be seeing you a lot more in these? Or? Definitely. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing some different colorways as well. I, I stay tuned. Thanks very much. Nice. <laughs> Advantage you.